aluminum oxide, zirconia, boron nitride, silicon carbide, silicon nitride, aluminum nitride, steatite, malite, and Macor. Aluminum oxide is um, the most commonly used ceramic material for a number of different reasons. It answers and solves a lot of problems. It's economical and it can move through our shop relatively quickly because of the abundance of orders we have for that material. Anybody that's listened to my spiel will tell you that I call alumina kind of the vanilla of ceramic materials. It serves a lot of purposes, it does a lot of different things, and it's kind of a really good place to start. There's multiple levels of purity. We specialize in 96% uh, alumina, 99.5% alumina, and 99.8% alumina. Boron nitride is used under vacuum. It can reach temperatures up to 3,000 degrees C, and it's used for filament insulation most of the time. Zirconia has very excellent fracture toughness and is excellent in pump components, things where you're seeing cavitation or vibration it has a very high fracture toughness and it's a very tough material. It has higher strength than alumina. It also has much higher density and it's much heavier material. We always recommend when our customers use zirconia for wear parts that they use both zirconia mating parts because when they wear together they wear slowly. If you want a zirconia part to wear against a metal part it will absolutely just destroy the metal part in no time because it's so dense. Zirconia is a very strong material. It's used for blade edges and for its wear resistance. Steatite is a material that can be used uh, primarily for electrical isolation purposes. It's fully dense and durable. It doesn't have the same mechanical strength as some of the other ceramics like alumina or zirconia, but it does solve an electrical isolation problem and it's affordable. Macor is a great material to use if you're prototyping components. It can be conventionally tooled. Macor is a machinable glass that can be conventionally machined and can be used for prototyping alumina with a quicker turnaround. And you can get your components in about two to four weeks. Sometimes International Ceramics works with exotic ceramic materials, silicon nitride being one of them. I have one here to show you. This is a component that was designed and made to measure speed. This was the only material that would work. Here's the working end of the component, it's along the blade, and it was very expensive to work with this material because the material is incredibly dense, one of the most dense ceramics, and it took a long time to machine these features in. Quite often we get a requirement or a request for metallized parts, and I just happen to have one right here. This is a fully dense ceramic component that has a metallized surface. These surfaces can be important for a variety of reasons. Could be for electrical purposes, could be for thermal purposes, um, and also could be for isolating um, electrical currents. So we have a system in place that will trace the powder all the way through to production and shipment of your component, and then we will certify that material to make sure that you have what you have ordered. Our company can help find um, the right material for you and also the right purity of that material because there are different bodies of ceramic materials.